it seems the season of impeachment is here with us once more. Um, is there a difference or are we, are we expecting to see the normal outcome that we normally see? Yes, the season is here. Mm -hmm. um, we've uh, been distracted a bit you know, over the last uh, you know, year or so with you know, political alliances and mm. ensuring that there's some stability of some sort. Uh, but we, what we will now know that in the, um, in the course of that period, things have been happening you mm. know, in the counties especially. And uh, so what we are about to you know, be engaged as a nation is uh, a sort of an evaluation of the, the last uh, several months, what has been going on in the counties mm -hmm. in terms of ethics, integrity, relationship between uh, elected officials and the public. Uh, so it's a, it's a good opportunity for the country to begin to stamp their feet really on what leaders is, are expected to do, uh, the accountability, uh, transparency, and so just like you and many other Kenyans, we are hoping that you know, there is objectivity in the conversation here. And the outcomes, you know, whichever way it goes, I think the message should be clear mm -hmm. that uh, Kenyans demand uh, the minimum standards of ethics and integrity from every leader. Mm -hmm. yeah. And indeed, what is even shocking, Leonard, is that this is a deputy governor that was chosen by the governor himself, who is Simbarati. So along the way, what, what do you think comes to the mind of a governor to decide, uh, and allegedly that is, tell the members of the county assembly, I do no longer require the services of a deputy governor. Uh, I need to look for or in search for an, a new deputy governor. Um, talk, talk about the relationship between the governor and the deputy. What does it even say about the governor himself? Well, in, in management, um, a deputy need to be a true principal assistant that supports the uh, function of the, the governor. Mm. However, we all know that the uh, time and processes before elections are a bit, you know, uh, fragile and, and most governors, you know, end up identifying people that feel they one they will appeal to the electorate to get them to the office and then secondly that they will uh, be subject to the authority of the governor you know that's one side but what we know is that the office of the deputy governor is also you know espoused you know it's it's an office a full office in itself and what some of the governors do not understand is that you know the they are not the ones who say what the deputy governor does or does not do. Mm. And uh, we've had instances where deputy governors uh, rise against their bosses. Mm. And, and I think we need to see more of that because, you know, leadership really needs to mean that we follow the, the script. And it's not about relationship, you know, it's not about uh, we need to look good, you know, in the public image, but we need to do the right thing. So what I look forward now and in many days to come is that, you know, the relationship between the deputy governor and the governor is, um, you know, guided by the roles as espoused in, in the constitution, mm -hmm. you know, not personal relationship and what, you know, they want to look in the public image. Mm -hmm.